have actually a lot of stuff, like, like a lot <laughs> of stuff, and I've tried almost all of it, um, except a few things that we just got yesterday, so I wanted to throw them in here as well. Um, yeah, so the things that I just got yesterday I haven't tried, and then the hair care product that I was talking about um, that I received I have not tried yet, but let's get started. So I want to start off with the most exciting product for me anyways. Uh, I put in a Sephora order, it's very small, so it wasn't anything crazy, but I wanted to purchase the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, so I did. And this is what she looks like. So, clearly, if you have shades like this, you don't need it, but I love the Natasha Denona formula, and I love her shimmers and the, like, different ones she chooses to use. Um, so, my gripe with this palette, not that it's really a gripe, but um, it's not a cool tone palette. The only thing that makes it cool tone is this shade and maybe these two shimmer shades, but they're not, this isn't a cool tone palette. This is a very neutral palette. And the, I did a whole eye look with these four right here. And it turned out totally warm toned. So clearly you can make this palette warm toned. You can make it on the cooler side of neutral as well, obviously, but you're going to always get a fairly neutral looking eyeshadow look when you put this on. I don't care about it. I also don't care that there's only five matte shades in this and the rest are shimmer. So you have 10 non-matte shades and I personally like that. I love different tones and different shades of shimmer shades. Um, there's a couple pinks up here. There's a couple of these like antique bronze colors. So that one and that one down here. They're really pretty, they work really well, they go really far, they're super metallic, like liquid metal on the eye, they're beautiful. I love this palette and I do recommend it for the entire $65 if that is, you know, in your budget or in your range to purchase. I would highly recommend this. Um, I think it is worth the $65. I have every single one of these mini palettes and I love them all. I think they're all worth $65, but there is going to be a Sephora sale coming up around November, like there always is. So if you did want this palette and it's just a little bit more than you want to pay for, just wait for that sale. It's a great time to buy and invest your money in a special palette like this because you won't be disappointed. My son is screaming. I guess he's just mad. Yeah. So that is my purchase of the month. I've done three looks with this already. I love every single look that I've created. Like I said, um, not every look that you come up with is going to look totally different from another look that you come up with this palette. They're all going to be fairly similar, but I, lo I love this palette. I really do. It's so much fun and it's a great addition for fall and winter time too. So a couple things. Can you give it to me and I'll help you? No. Hurry up. <gasps> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Mm. You think I'm gonna be able to get this off? <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, the other couple things that came with that order was just obviously a couple samples. I'm not going to throw them in here. I think it's going to be pointless for you guys, but it's my birthday month. So um, the option I wanted to pick, I was debating between the Briogeo, um, but it sold out. So then I was debating between the Hourglass and the Milk Makeup. Um, but I went with Milk Makeup because I love cream products, cream cheek products. So I picked that up. This comes with like a sample of the Milk um, Hydro Grip Primer. This is a really fun primer. I love it. Happy to have it in a sample because it's just another use for me to use. Uh, it also came with the Milk Kush Mascara, which I've not tried before. So I'm excited to test it out. Yeah, so I have not tried that um, mascara yet. And I have a, a couple. I have about three open right now. So I'm going to wait to open this 
and use it until I finished a few more mascaras. Um, but it also came with the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Lip and Cheek Color, I guess. Um, I'm probably only ever gonna use it as a blush, but it's in the shade Work. This is six grams of product for a free sample. That is a full size amount of powdered blush and you're gonna use less in a cream formula, at least in my opinion, you're gonna use less. So you will have this for a long, 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 long time. And that is the pretty color in case you haven't ever seen it yet. So yeah, just a nice, pretty, everyday pink. It smells like a lip smacker of mine. I can't really pinpoint exactly what it is, but it, it does have like a very lip smacker smell to it which like I said I don't mind it reminds me of my childhood I just cannot pinpoint that smell at all and then um, I picked out the IGK first class detoxifying charcoal shampoo and the weightless replenishing conditioner set so I have one I have two charcoal shampoos right now that I'm using. One I don't particularly like, and the other one is the Briogeo one. It's got like the, the um, it's got a texture to it. That one I love. This doesn't have like stuff in it, but I've I've had three or four other types of charcoal shampoos before. Oh, it smells so good too. But um, I've liked all the other ones I've tried before, so I am curious how much I'm going to like these. And these will last me a while too because I don't wash my hair very often and I don't. I feel like I don't use a lot. But I will be happy to use this once I have the one in my shower that's almost done. I just hate it. I hate it so much. It leaves like a film in my hair and I, just, I hate it. I really hate it. But that was everything from my really quick Sephora order. Um, the only other things that I bought myself are these guys. I'm so excited to talk about these. These are the Half Cake Makeup In Bloom Powder Blushes. So they have six colors. They're so pretty. There's Me and You, Bunny, Live on Sunday. So that's... And then... Freshly squeezed, day and night, and soft serve. So like I said, six blushes. I'd say they're pretty even in three cool tones and three warm tones. So I'll just start randomly showing you the colors. I think I've used just about every single color. Maybe not like one or two, but I've at least swatched them all. This is the In Bloom blush from Half Cake Makeup in the shade Freshly Squeezed. There she is. Let's swatch her so you guys can see. That is freshly squeezed. Looks way more red than I would have expected. Like very um, true pink, like Barbie pink color. It's the shade Me and You. There she is. There's me and you. Do another swatch so you can see it built up a little bit. Yeah, me and you. Freshly squeezed, me and you. This one. This one is the shade Bunny. Super cute. I love these shades. So that is Bunny. This one is the shade Soft Serve. Very similar to Bunny. I mean, at least in my opinion, it looks really similar. Um, soft Serve is just like a lighter pink, and then Bunny has more of like a berry tone to it. I don't know how much you can tell on camera, but me looking at it, I can tell that um, Soft Serve is pinker. Live on Sunday. And these are all mattes too, if you're curious. That is Live on Sunday. Last but not least, the shade Day and Night. 
swatch it. Here. Day and night, live on Sunday, soft serve, bunny, me and you, and freshly squeezed. There you go. Those are matte ones. A couple of the shades match their candy paint, lip and cheek ones. So like the one I'm wearing on my face is Tragic Kingdom and it is the sister to me and you, like the dupe, but um, they're just in different formulas. So there. Here. So yes, they're the same color. They're just in um, a matte formula instead of the cream formula. They're trying to appeal to everyone and I love that. Um, and I love having matte blushes in my collection as well, even though I am on a huge uh, cream liquid blush hunt. Um, I love that formula. It's primer infused, so it goes on really smoothly, really softly. It blends out well. There's no patchiness. Um, they are pretty pigmented. Al almost all the colors are like pow pigment in your face. Me and you is just really, really light, but it does still have a lot of pigment to it. Um, so I tap twice in the, in the blush. And then I tap my brush off really good and then I'll just lightly dust it on my skin until I come to the uh, type of color that I am. Everything else that I have in this box that I'm going to talk about, I have received for free to review. So from, I have received this straight from the brand. It's from the brand Good Molecules. This is their Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel and I'm so happy that the brand now is putting every single ingredient on the box and the percentage that you'll find it in. So there's no hiding what ingredient goes where. Um, I think like after they get down to the 1%, so rose water and below it, um, they can switch up the order entirely. So if you, if you have um, on any other packaging, you can list a 0.1% above a 1%. Which, it's really frustrating, especially when you you want to know exactly what is in your products, in what order, in the order that um, it shows up in percentage. So I'm glad that they do that. It's also in glass packaging, which they have almost all of their stuff is now in black, or excuse me, is in glass packaging or is going to be packaged in anything that is easier to recycle, like glass tin I think was another one they were talking about and I can't remember what the other option was off the top of my head but anyways um, they're just trying to be more eco-conscious eco-friendly uh, most plastic bottles do not even get um, recycled because they can't be so glass can easily be recycled and it breaks down much much faster than plastic ever would naturally so I'm so happy they're doing that. You know, it's such a, a big business step to do because it does cost more, but in the end, you're helping the planet that we live on. And I really enjoy that. My favorite thing about this cleanser is it does not smell like anything. There's absolutely no scent to it. I think they're selling it for $12. So if you need a um, gel cleanser, or I mean any type of cleanser, it doesn't have to be gel, but it has a nice lather. It does not strip my skin. I have normal skin and I hate that really, really tight, dry feeling I get after using many cleansers. This does not act that way and it doesn't smell like anything. So it's really beneficial, in my opinion, to somebody who has sensitive skin. What did it say? It had in it, yeah, it uses rose water. Um, they have rose water. They have rose water in it for, um, uh, yeah, it says rose water is high in antioxidants and helps maintain bright skin tone. So that is their reason reasoning for putting rose water in this cleanser. So I love it. I love the way it just sits by my sink. I just pump it. It's a really nice pump. Um, I am so happy they came out with if you are looking at good molecules and you don't know what to purchase and you're just starting out with skincare or even if you're not and you just want to check out the brand i would highly recommend any of their skin cleansing products so the rose water daily cleansing gel they have a cleansing balm um that's really good if you wear a ton of makeup like 
me on the daily. I wear a lot of makeup. That takes everything off and then I'll double cleanse with something like this. They also have a pineapple enzyme powder. That is so good. That is such a good product. I love that product. And then they also have a like cleansing bar, like a clarifying bar. Um, it's it's a face and body bar. Uh, I use it for my face. I don't necessarily use it on my body, so I don't keep it in my shower. I use it for my face. Um, it's what I've been using before they came out with this. I love that bar. Again, it's not stripping. It doesn't make my skin feel dry, and it gets a nice lather. It's a soap-free bar, but it still lathers so nice. I love it. So any of those four products, I highly recommend. Like I said, they're putting all their products in um, more recyclable, friendly um, packaging. So the um, the cleansing uh, balm, I have mine in a plastic jar. They're going to switch it to something else at some point. So that's really exciting to see. It's good initiative on their part, and you can't you can't blame them for wanting to be eco-conscious. I've received through the brand Octoly. So the first thing is the Bite Beauty Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss. I got it in the shade Guava Puff. Like I said, I've, I've clearly tried this already. I mean, you can see there's a decent amount gone. It's a really pretty light pink color. This particular color is not super opaque. I'd say it's semi-sheer. And um, they have very, very light little, I don't even know if it'll focus enough for you, but there's these little itty bitty shimmery glitters throughout of it. it. Makes it really pretty. It looks extra shiny on the lips. I love this formula. And if you miss the Bite Beauty, it's the French press um, lip gloss. I, they got rid of that one and discontinued it, I think because it wasn't a vegan product. This is cruelty free and vegan. Uh, so I'm assuming this is what's replacing the French press glosses. It's the same really nice, smooth, comfortable formula, but vegan now. And they have some really cute shades. They have like a more brownie one that has shimmer in it that I really want to get too. So thank you, Bite Beauty and Octoly. This is amazing. I love this. It's wonderful. Such an beautiful everyday color. She also sent me over the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. So this is the packaging. Mm. This might take the cake for my favorite moisturizer. And I don't need an ultra hydrating moisturizer. My skin, like I said before, is very normal. So I don't need anything that's crazy hydrating. But this bad boy, so the lid is magnetic, so you never lose your little scooper. And this is what the actual um, moisturizer looks like. It reminds me, when you're scooping it out, it reminds me of the texture or the consistency of butter. That sounds kind of gross because butter is really, really oily. This is not oily, so don't think of it in, in that sense. Um, it's not oily like butter, but it, it stays cold, so it stays like that more solid form. Um, and then it just smooths out so well on the skin, and it has this beautiful, natural honey scent that I love. It's not overpowering. Thank you so much, Pharmacy and to Octoly for sending this to me. It's magnificent. Everything about this product is Everything about this product is stunning from the packaging to the smell to how it performs and how it's ethically sourced from the pharmacy honeybees. So, thank you. Also received from Octoly, it's the uh, Tony, Moly, and Minions set. I've got their uh, banana foam cleanser and the soothing aloe cleansing wipes. This is an amazing line, anything from Tony Moly. If you have someone who's just starting out in skincare and maybe they either, whether or not they have a ton of acne or not, but you want to get them on a good skincare routine, I would highly recommend checking out anything from Tony Moly. They have amazing packaging. Everything is really cute. It's fun. It makes skincare fun. And they smell good too. Like this foaming cleanser, A, it works. If you like that squeaky clean feeling without the like super tight dryness that you get from most of those products, I'd recommend this. It smells so good. It smells like nerd's candy 
or like um, uh, like a strawberry banana smoothie. That's what it smells like to, to me. It smells so good. It's thick. It's such a good product to get someone in a routine um, and get someone to try a skincare routine that they'll love and that they'll enjoy doing every single day because it is a very important part of your day. Yeah, so these are the aloe cleansing wipes. These are great for anyone who just wants to cleanse their face and clean off any oil, dirt, sweat, makeup. They're good for like after gym or after a workout if your kid is in, you know, like band or if they're a cheerleader or whatever. Uh, these are these are great football, soccer, etc. Any after school sports. I think this is a great idea to give them. Um, I'm a heavy makeup wearer, and I only had to use one wipe. It got everything off. These are a more dry, drier formula. I guess that's the only thing I wish it was just a little bit more of a wet wipe type of thing. Um, but for the average makeup wearer or the person who just needs to clean their face off, these work just fine. Talk about it. It's the Chapstick Total Hydration infused with hemp seed oil. It has very, barely any scent to it. It has like a slight peppermint scent and that's one of the, like the last two ingredients in the list. So it's just another good lip balm. I like how it wears. Wears nice. Um, and it smells good too. You updated. They also sent over the Peach Slices Acne Spot Dots. I don't think you're going to notice a difference um, right away. So I have not used these yet. I'm excited to try them. I got one I can put on now. So we'll see how they go. It's the Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Toner Serum. It's BHA Witch Hazel Niacinamide uh, Zinc. So the BHAs are good. I don't really care about Witch Hazel, but there's niacinamide in it. So I'm excited to try this toner. And I love the pump, so you're not wasting a whole lot. You're just pumping it down onto like a pad. Or for me, I'll just put it on my like hands and pat it in my face. I'll also put it on like um, the makeup eraser cloths. I think that's what they're called. Um, but I have like, they're just a microfiber towel. So I just use any microfiber towel that I have, like a makeup towel. I'll, you know, pump it down on that and then rub it in my face that way. So I'm excited to try that guy too. Never have um, enough toners uh, and see which one works best for you. And the last thing I got from Influencer was the Dior Capture Total Dream Skin Care and Perfect Global Age Defying Skin Care Perfect Skin Creator. Um, from what I can tell, it's something you put on your face like after your moisturizer, etc. Um, I think they redid the formula and that's why they sent it out. Because this is an old product, like it's an older product from what I can recall from memory. I really do like this as a primer specifically. It has a very nice velvety texture to it and it is pretty thin. I'll just see if I can show you. It has a very, very light pink, almost peachy tone to it. Um, so it blends on nicely. It almost has maybe a slight silicone or dimethicone feeling to it. Nothing crazy or serious. But it just has this like super thin velvety feeling, almost like it turns, like when it dries down, it almost feels like it turns into a powder. It's a very interesting consistency and I have been liking it and it has been working very, very well underneath my makeup and giving me like a soft focus type of look to my skin. The only thing I don't like about it is, most, when you're buying luxury products, you're almost expecting for them to have like a strong scent to them. And not that the scent is bad, it just reminds me of baby wipes and baby powder. It's very like baby powder scent. And it literally reminds me of the wipes I used to wipe my son's butt when he was little. So it's, and not that it's off-putting, it's just not a scent I expected to be in like a skincare makeup product if that makes sense but I think the outcome is worth it if you're willing to spend the luxury price point that comes with buying this so that 
is that. That is everything that I bought myself and I've received for free for review and PR to discuss, to try out for myself. I have not been paid by any of these brands to talk about them. I have not gotten a single paycheck from any of these brands. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I hope that was kind of interesting or like little reviews of everything, quick reviews, and then just stuff that I've received in PR that I've tried. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you found it sort of interesting. Um, let me know if you want to keep seeing more of these videos. Thanks guys. Bye.